So we start with HIP. So what HIP basically can be used for, you can use it for teaching and you can use it for assessment as well. You can use it to teach and now the, the degree of which you want to make it compli complicated depends on you. Okay, you can have complicated and simple. So I will show you some of the libraries that I developed and then I will teach you the step by step usage of each of these libraries. Okay, so we start off with, so Zul will do the adjustment because he, I cannot do everything from the same place, so we can show them, okay, so so for example, you have this one which says arrange the stages of plant growth in respective order, it's just a very simple example to show you what you You won't have this because this is in my library, okay, we have to create a library, okay, so now remember something, when you, when you have this H5P, whatever you create here is free for everyone else to see. Oh, okay. it's free for other users. So make sure that when you use this library, you make sure that you don't use any image which is copyrighted. This is the only only caveat. So be careful that you don't use copyrighted image or any image which is from a textbook. Textbook sources which are not. <laughs> Sorry. Same page. No, no, you won't have it because this is uh, my HIT library. Uh, you will create this library as a standard of that. You will create a library. Okay. So, can you talk? Can you talk? Is that? Yeah. I had the last one. Okay. So, this is a very simple, I'll give you the simplest example, the basic, and then we create from it. Okay. This is the simplest example telling you to arrange the images in the correct order. So, here you see the seed germinating, here you see the seedling. And here you see the tree. So now Zul will arrange them in the correct order. Assuming that Zul is a student, okay, he arranges it in the correct order and then he says show solution. Show solution. So when he clicks show solution, it shows you. Oh, if it's wrong, it will ask you later, is it? Okay, now you arrange everything and then you click check. You click check. So when he arranges it in the correct order, he gets the correct mm -hmm. sequence. Okay, if you click again, you can re uh, redo it. So redo, refresh, redo it. Refresh. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll show you how to get it. First, I'm showing you an example of how what's happening. Okay. So you have images in this order, and now Zul will arrange it in the wrong order. Okay, you arrange in the wrong order. Just randomly, and then you click check. <laughs> so now it actually shows it in the wrong order. Now this is, I just showed three slides for example. Now we go on to how we use it, okay. So now suppose you have, a, in your case, if you have a medical procedure which involves steps A, B, C, D, E, F and G. And you want your student to basically arrange it in the proper order. You want to give it in a smart 2 UMS system which is independent learning. So what you need to do is you need to create this image library first, okay. How it is done, we will show you how. So this is called sequence uh, sequencing. So we go to okay. Now create images, right? You have to go back to your account. You go up to your account. Okay. Everything starts from here, my account. Okay. You start. We will start off with the simplest one, which is I'll show you how to make the images in the correct order. You click here, my account. Everything starts with this one. My account. Okay. Now we need to, each one of you, I need you to get some images related to your specific team. Okay. Now the cheaper, sorry not cheaper, the easiest way to get images without paying for them is from something known as Pixar Bay. You do Pixar Bay? Pixar Bay. Pixar Bay. Pixar Bay. Okay. Pixar Bay is a free image resource. You can download the images from there, reuse, remix, you don't have to pay, it's copyright free. Fix up pay. Just fix up pay. Fix up. See, fix up pay. Fix up pay. Fix up pay. You have many other images, like maybe you can have a 
library as well, yes. image library, yes. you can use it. If you, are, if you have okay. your own personal images, you can use those as well. Yes. Like suppose we have some medical procedure, recorded yes. images, you can use this. Yes. 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 Okay. So, we will, we will select the procedure, you can pick sure. any three images, just pick some image, any image like, uh, what do you say? Butterfly. Yeah, butterfly. So, you will download butterfly. So, Zul is going to basically make image of uh, caterpillar to butterfly. Okay, so you just put three images. You, you find one for your I am just using generic examples. You download the butterfly picture, you store in your download folder. Just take the download. Butterfly, butterfly, and. Butterfly, you like to pop. Yeah. You have to click and not over. Yes. You can not click. Yeah. It is not a image, it is just a capture. <coughs> P-U-P-P-A. Just keep it on your P-U-P-A. P-U-P-A. What's correct? P-U-P-P-A. P-A-E. P-U-P-A. Okay. P-U-P-A. 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 You download the caterpillar, ah, you download this and this one, this one and this one. Download this purple one. Yeah. Download this one and the caterpillar. And the caterpillar. Okay, so it takes time the first time because you have to arrange all the images in order. You have to download all the images and so forth. Once you are done, it's always it's, uh, it's very easy. It's very less time. No, no, you can use fifty images. But, but then it become more complex for assessment. That's why we have to think of the assessment professor because many, too many images for the children may increase the cognitive load. So usually I have to think There are other types of the... You have to go back to the... Uh, uh, to the you can choose my own file, you can use the internet. Right. I'm using this because of an example. Your own personal image library. Okay. Okay, done. So okay, everyone got their images? Not yet, not yet. Okay, I will I will wait. I will wait. Once you get picture, yeah. Save it. Uh, save it in your download download program. That's where I can draw.
Clone content. Clone content. Clone content. Yeah. 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 Sequence, eh? Okay. So zoom off. Okay. Okay, so to begin with, right? You have, you come to your account page and you, because you are creating this for the first time. So you need to click here, try out H5P. There's a pink button here. Go back to your account page. Account and then you click here, try out H5P. Okay. You all, all got it? Try out H5P? Okay. Yeah. When you try when you click that button, you'll see this thing called content types. Now there are many types of content settings here. You can use interactive video, image, hotspot, accordion. There are lots of quizzes. You can use this based on your requirement for assessment and teaching. Okay. Many types of content. We will start off with the first content, which is called sequencing. Okay, which is the first one, the simplest one is place images in the correct order. So this is called image sequencing. Now this is used specifically when you want to teach your students about a specific work. You have given an instruction that you need to go from A to A, B, C, D, E, F. You want to assess them whether they have understood the sequence. So you use the image sequencing application here. Okay, so you click here. I like we are going to use this. Okay. Okay, so when we start off with it, uh, all of we are all of us on the same page? The same page, right? Okay. So when you start off with this image sequencing, the first thing you need to do is always give it a title name, title here. Now remember something here known as metadata file. Metadata file means it records this for search by search engine like Google. Okay, so make sure that your title is informative of the content it follows. So suppose your title is, for example, I just go around and show you. I go around and show you. 
So all this thing we are going to record and give you later. You can review it. Okay, so we need to give a name. So just give a name here, sir. So let's say butterfly, butterfly to something. You just write butterfly. To butterfly. Life cycle. It doesn't matter what you do. Okay. The first one is your player title. Yeah, yeah. So the next line you feel after that actually is the task description. In this one you give the instruction to your student. Like for example, in this one it's arrange the images in the correct sequence. Okay. If you want to put in the marks, you can put in here as well. This assignment carries so many percent of the marks of the assessment. And then you give an alternative task description. Uh, you can use this as a uh, additional information, which this is uh, optional. And now we go down to the main part, which is making the sequence. Okay, so go down. So now you will see here image one, image two, image three. So when you are preparing this assessment, you need to arrange it in the correct order. The student will follow suit. Okay, so Zul will attach image one, click here, and you add. Okay, then you have to go to your download folder. The folder which you download, you have to download. And then you Okay, okay. I will wait for you. Already download? Nobody has downloaded it? I clicked, but nothing is downloaded. Okay, okay. So, so wait, wait, wait. I will just go and help to download. Yes. 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 Download. Yes. Yes. This is coming. <laughs> Say something. Suppose you are doing like 
So, now most of us have the images, all you need to do is add images here. So, the first image, right? Okay. Image plus. Downloads, okay, this is the image description. Okay, now this is actually designed for hearing and visually impaired people. So suppose you want to make a description, right? Of the, so suppose somebody is visually impaired or hearing impaired, you can upload audio file. So it will tell you this. So then you have to record the audio file. This image describes the Caterpillar. So this image is showing a caterpillar for people who are visually impaired. Okay. And if you are audit, uh, if you are, if you require captioning, also it requires it allows you to do that. Well, H5P is designed for all levels of accessibility. So open source. Okay. So you add all the images one by one. So do that. Get done. Add the second image. Yeah. Image second. Add. Add your. Uh, if you are designing it for those people who are, for example, in the description, you can edit as well. So, but don't give too much description because some of the student is being a description as well. So, this is a complex procedure, you can give a description. So, you add this one, and then you add the next one. So, you add the next one. And then the third one. This one, both the fly. So after you finish this entire procedure, you can go down to the bottom and always save it. So you say, go down, go down, and that's it. Again to the capture. Capture, you have to turn out a robot. That allows you. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, go up, go up. So after you put that, you you add the images. Okay, add three pictures. Yeah, wait, I'll go slowly first. So you add three images, right? Suppose by mistake you added the images in the wrong order. Okay, you can still go up there, up and up using this cursor key. So click on the cursor. So do clicks here. Do you just focus on this one here? So then the order gets rearranged. So suppose we are like you are, you want to make a procedure and then you you are very in a hurry and you made a mistake. No need to delete and redo. Just move up the order by using this recipe. Okay, so now we move it down. Just click the two arrows. But another one by clicking there. Another one. Another one. Okay, so you can arrange them in the correct order. Ah. Now this is for medical procedure that we are In addition to this, if you all want to use video of the medical procedure, you can add a video as well. So you can ask the student to three different videos, section your examination, to make examination to three videos, check them separately and ask the student to arrange them in the correct order. So that's how you use it. So if you want to add uh, videos, you can add videos to the same section as well. So scroll down there. Scroll down. Okay. Now we have to click here, which says I am not a robot. This, this is just for the security setting. Okay. Not no, don't have it. Okay, okay, don't have it. It's good. Don't have it. You know, it means because we have it all the time. Yeah. So I go to the Some of the PCs are network PCs, so it may have many channels. I think your phone has to have your connection. We are using our Wi-Fi. So, switch, hot, and So, scroll up. So, the most important thing is here, save. If you don't save, all your work will be going down the drain. So, save. Save. Your whole, that, uh, basically, the whole package is saved. The images with the whole package is saved. Yes. Up, up the fly, up the same way, same same same. Same. Yeah. Sorry, it's saved in the server because H5P is a global community of uh, educators. No. No. So it's saved in a global server. So yeah, you, now you can embed it. I'll show you how to insert it into a smart code. Uh, this can only be done by the student.
This is what now no, this is what a student will see from the terminal. Yeah. terminal. So the one which you will create it is the one only which you as the creator of the content can see. The student will see this one. Okay. So now the student has A, B, and C. Okay. He or she will try. So you, you try, you try, just go random. Don't use the correct one. Just, just go random. You create it and you click check. Okay. So if it is wrong, it will show up as a right mark. Show up as a right mark. Because wrong is not. Okay, so you try again. What is wrong? The order is not correct. Right. The sequence is incorrect. So if the sequence is yeah. not selected, it is correct. Oh, you can't show up as a right. Uh, uh, hello, it is right. So if the sequence is correct, it will show. So you can try it again. You arrange the correct sequence. Now the sequence, the student is choosing the right sequence, capital F, capital F. Okay. Check. It shows the correct sequence. So then the student will only get mark. Yeah. When it is in the correct order. Uh, uh, That's required. Yeah. Because I'm so. You want to reset? No. So, 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 I see the picture. I cannot see. I see, but not. It's a desktop. Yeah. So, this one. So, this one. Don't do software. is the software. So you can go to my account. I just I just show you how it works. Okay? So I give you a description of what it is. 
Riman is on the image hotspot page. Okay. Just wait. It's okay. Take your time. The network is slow. So here, here, box here. Yeah. yeah. Through the search engine. So you give central number system, you just put CNS, the central number system. CNS. The next thing you need to add is the image. So Zul has downloaded the image of the CNS. So he's going to find the image. Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you. Okay, so Zul has downloaded. It's okay right now. <laughs> I have a clue. So. Okay, so Zul has downloaded an image here. I suggest that you download an image which is relevant to your specific field of expertise. Okay, then you label it. So this is the image. So in this you have the description for the image, so you can put in the description which is the legend for that specific image. So Zul can just write, just put figure one, or CNS figure one. Okay, you go down to the next one. Okay, now this is actually the hotspot icon. Okay, so the hotspot icon is just the image which will appear on top of that particular image. So in this one, we just use the word predefined icon. Usually, it appears as a plus sign, or you can use a dot. But it's not important for us because we are more interested in the content. So we just leave this as such predefined icon. Okay, so in this one, you can have click here. We can have a plus, minus, uh, a check, a question mark. So these are just the logo which will come. You remember when I showed you the map, there was actually a plus sign. So this is just the description. It doesn't really matter. So you can use plus. Okay, so you just use the word plus. And then this is the color. So these are some basic uh, functionality which you can add to that. This is just to give it some kind of uh, cosmetic value. It's it's not important. Okay, this point is not important. What's important is this particular image. Okay, so now we want to create hotspots on this particular image, so it becomes easier for a student to understand. So you zoom up the, you zoom up on the image. Okay. So in order to create the hotspot, you need to click on the image. Okay, you click here, click here. Okay, so you have one hotspot over here. Okay. Go down to the description of hotspot. So you have a pop-up. Okay, so you, you add the content item, which is text, okay, text. Okay. You have to name the part, I don't know what, what's that part, brain, brain, okay, you have brain, for example, text. Yeah, so, sometimes you may want to, okay, suppose you show the picture of the brain, for example, on the main, but you want to zoom in into the brain, into more detail, you can actually put in an image of the brain, and you can zoom in onto that image. So if you want to show a video of a brain incision, you can show that as well. Okay, it's, it depends on the user, but we just uh, work with the basic text. Okay, to so add item. Okay, so that's the item. We go up. So content item we can see. So you will see the click over here. Okay, you then you select under hotspot here. You click here. Okay, sorry, sorry. Move, move that. Go down. Now you have to add the next hotspot. So you go up here, so you click here. You just go up. I just went to a second. Okay. So Zul has created the first spot which actually goes into the brain. Now you want to create another hotspot on the same image which goes onto the spine. In which case you have to go down and add the next hotspot. You add hotspot. You add here hotspot. Okay. Go down. Scroll. Yeah, it's a big image. You'll have to add. So if you click again here, click, and then you can add. Go down. Add content item is text. Uh, you can't actually go back. You save. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. One second. Yes. Save. You add spine. Oh, 
Okay, I don't know what this term means, but we use this. Click here, click. Then you copy this. Thing. Now, for H5P, right, you can add text, you can add image, and you can add video. But the video should be from YouTube, and it should be in the form of link. Because H5P is not designed for, it's a free soft, uh, free uh, platform. It's not designed to upload your videos. So it only accepts link to video. Now Zool will copy the link as normal. When we share YouTube link, you click share. You copy the link. Wait for a while. Okay, copy the link. Copy and then you go back to H5P. Now Zul wants to add a video to the file, so he goes down again, then you add a hotspot. So you will see the same thing again and then you can click somewhere Zul on that, maybe here, just click randomly on the location, okay. Okay, click there and then you go down and you have to add, see the content type, you change it to video. Now when you select video, Automatically, it will allow you to upload or you can add the video here, click here, click, video, okay, you can upload your URL here, your YouTube URL, okay, please don't, do not upload your own videos here because this one, it allows you to upload but it's very slow when it runs on download, so student will have difficulty viewing the video which you upload. Uh -huh. Yeah, if you have a video, that's why I suggested that you upload the video to YouTube and then you link it to HIP. Don't use the uh, self-generated video and upload it here. If not, the system cannot handle HIP. Okay, so you insert and then it's done. Now, if you scroll down to the top right, you will see, so just scroll from the beginning, we'll see what we have done. So, to wrap up this right, we'll see what we have done. So, the first thing we did is we incorporated the first hotspot which is on your brain, which is the form of text. Go down, scroll. Then the next hotspot was another one which is actually a text. The third hotspot is an image which is uploaded here and the fourth hotspot is a video. So this uh, application is very good when you have a complex image and you want to explain the students each and every part without cluttering the whole thing. You don't want to create a cognitive load in which your whole image is cluttered. So you use this. Finally, what you do, everything, you save it. You save it. Yeah, it's a progress. So they don't get cluttered every time, otherwise they'll get a shock. The brain will cannot rest. So you save everything, save. Okay, everything is okay. You're clear with this, right? How to insert image, text, and the thing, and the video insert. Okay, so what the student will be seeing is this. Okay, go up. So the image is quite large. Okay. Copy and paste the link from YouTube into your image. Okay, so what the, what the student sees is this one. So you click on the first time. Okay, you will see the hotspot one. It will tell you what that hotspot is. Zul has zoomed out on the image. So in this one, right, there is a big space in which you can describe the function of, the, of that particular organ or that particular part. So you are given a big place in which to describe. So it's easy for your student to actually see it on the phone. They can just see it on one short screen and they can get all the information in one click. You see this one is linked to the image. This one you click again. Okay. It links to another word. And then you click down here to your surgery one. Click. Okay. It will open the video. So the video will play inside the picture. So you can show the whole process inside one image. So one image you can run your whole. So you, if you want to teach your class, you can teach it just using one H5P image. You just click the first one, you show the first thing. Describe it. Click the second one, the second thing pop up, you describe that. And then you show the video and so on. So everything runs inside picture. So you click, it will run inside. Is it useful for your profession? I mean, this kind of video. So, you can use in both professor because the modality is like that. So, suppose you are suppose I am in a lecture hall and I want to explain a complex topic which I cannot describe articulate. You can use this as well, and it will run in the hand phone. You can use it as a teaching aid offline. It means when you are not in the class when you are. 
Or, or tell your classroom if you use it as well. Okay. So this is the usage of the image hotspot. Okay, so hopefully you'll find I'm trying to find those modality inside which are useful for medical profession because there are many other functions inside. Okay, so that's so how it works. Okay, so but okay, sure, sure. Using this one, you can okay. Okay, because you are interested in the topic, we will focus on this only. So, we will create a new hotspot for heart. So, uh, so, to start, usually we will do this together. Come, we do all together. So, we click like this my account. You have to always come to my account first. Then you will go to try out H5P. My account is here. Ah, okay. Atas. Okay. Click here. Then you go for the always come for the pink button. There's a pink button here called H5P. Okay. Try out H5P. Okay. okay. So you want to create uh, for your heart, right? Yeah. So you'll have to go to pick subway. Subway. Then you'll have to look for heart. Cross section. Just yeah. cross section. Heart. Cross section. You put heart cross section. This will see Valentine heart. <laughs> cross section. Let's put cross section. Cross section. Start for this. Okay, click. Okay, you got the heart. Uh, you have you want this image, bro? Okay, okay. You download this image. No, no. You go on what? Yeah, you go to Pixar where you find an image. Now this image is already labeled. It's not good for a hotspot because it's so, So we'll start with the heart image, we download. Spot not recommended to have a picture with uh, with lot of the images inside, a uh, lot of the legend inside because it will basically destroy the functionality of hotspot. Okay, so you click here with image hotspot. So you don't see the image hotspot. You need to search. 
search for the image hotspot. Okay, so the image hotspot will be hard, hard, interactive, just put interactive. Interactive. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Then you add the image of your heart inside. Okay, now you have your image of the heart, you want to add a video of the, what video is it Prof? Any of the video? Prof Nagesh, any specific video you want to add? Okay, okay. so, so look for that, uh, go, look for the Good, look for uh, hard ball, just look for hard ball, hard ball, ball, B -A -B, ball, okay, okay, you want to see the mechanical replacement of hard ball, right, so click here, so you click here, click on this, 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 okay, click, slowly, slowly, Okay, so this is, we are trying to embed videos inside the heart. So now we have this heart valve video. Okay, we'll try and embed it inside this. Yeah. Yeah, the major image is your background and you'll see the functionality when you click on each one of those hotspots. That is the whole idea. If you can do that, then basically that's... Yeah, you have to search for the video in YouTube. Because if you do not have a video in YouTube, it's quite hard to upload a new video. No, no. Okay. When you use uh, H5P with YouTube embedded, there is no copyright. Because it's uh, you are you're not downloading YouTube video. The only problem with copyright with YouTube will come when you download YouTube video and upload it back into your website. So, if with this there is no issue of upload, download, so you are just inserting a link. There is no problem prof for that. So, you can do that. So, you click on the video link. Click copy. Okay, and then you can edit it. Okay, click on the valve. Which one? This one? And just move there. there one. Okay, you go down and you click here, cover entire background image. Okay, pop up content is video. And then you wait for the video to load and click here. So you can just add videos as you go. So you can, there is no limit to the number of videos or text you add inside. It doesn't matter. So you upload, you save. Okay, and then you can go up and you can add more hotspot if you want to add. You can add or you can just say it. I just want to show them how it's actually now. Okay, just go down. Okay, so what you are seeing, what your student will see is this heart. The whole image of the heart. Now, we have only added one hotspot. You click here. When you click there, you wait for it to load. Then you'll see the heart replacement on the screen directly. So, that's a replacement now. You just click on the video, it will run. So, when you are using H5P in conjunction with video, you should make sure that you have a good internet connection or else it will not run. Just make sure you have the. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Clear how it can be done. Image hotspot. We have covered image sequencing and image hotspot. Okay. Any question on these two? Actually, the workshop was designed for the whole day, but we are doing it in half a day. Uh, I wanted to teach you all each and every one of the functionality. 
Yeah, you organize two day workshop with your people. We will do. You bring your material and come together in a group. We will do it in a small group so we can develop content. Right now, yeah, yeah, because I know because I'm doing it after about more than 30, 40 times. But for a new person, it's quite hard. It's quite hard to grasp it the first time. Okay, so that's the image also. Okay, I will now teach you all another procedure, another video, another very useful one, which is called interactive video. So, in a normal video, what we do is we tell our student watch the video first and answer the question. But you are not sure whether they watch the video or not, right? You don't know. You just give them a YouTube link, you watch. Now, with interactive video, you can stop the video and freeze it for a certain time and then ask a question. Okay? So, you can freeze the video. Uh, no, they will run it at their own pace. So, for example, if when you use interactive video, they will have a video clip on their screen. Okay? It's a surgical procedure with A, B, C and D. Okay? So, when you finish the first part, you can stop the video, you ask a question, you assess. The video will not move forward unless they answer the right answer. They give the correct answer. Then it moves on to the next part. So, in the earlier days, we used something known as a SCOM file, S-C-O-R-M, SCOM file to create these videos. But that SCOM file is quite expensive because we have to pay for the service. It's from Articulate. So, with H5P, you can create an interactive video by using the YouTube uh, file itself. Okay. So, Zul, can you replace, can you go down to the YouTube? Can any of you want to focus on any surgical procedure which is on YouTube? Any surgical procedure because I am not aware of. Can you give me a name of any surgical procedure prop? Which because I am not from the field. <laughs> Which one? Lay lock. How do you spell it? Okay, just put Myrtle M I R T L Myrtle Ball Replacement Surgery. M I M I T L R Replacement Surgery. Okay, just click it. Okay, so uh, okay, so this is the video in CCI. What is the what is how many times? Okay, this is a six minute video. For example, you are showing the student your student this video as a classroom assignment, but you want them to take it at home and then watch it again and then stop it at certain time. So in six minute video, you can have stops of every one minute or at the end of each procedure. Okay, so we work with this video as well. You can see the link to this video. So to make this kind of interactive video, you need to get the link first. Okay, so, share. share. So, share will extract the link. So, once you have the share, copy the link. If you have the link, you copy. You copy it and keep it. Okay. So, once you have your link, we go to H5P again. Again, you have to do the same thing. My account. Yeah. That's because it's a free software, so it doesn't have all the fancy buttons. It's just have to go back to the procedure. Try out H5P. And this particular modality is called interactive video. So wait for a while. We just type here interactive video. It's here. Interactive video. So interactive video allows you to convert a video lesson into a teaching content. Now, suppose you have your own videos of your classroom okay, and you have divided your, your lecture into three different components. So, the first 15 minutes you cover concept 1, Se second the next 20 minutes you cover concept 2 and the next 20 minutes you cover concept 3. At each stage you can actually deliver a lecture, stop, put a stop and you can ask the student to answer the first part. So, if they have listened to that intently, it will move forward. If not, it will remain and they have to replay. Every student, when you upload this H5P, you can share the link. All of them can access that particular link. So, it's very useful to, like the student will attend your lecture, but they will they can also listen to it at home and interact with you. And you will know from the data, the statistics of how many students have progressed and how many have actually remained behind. So, if the student claims they watch your video, then if they didn't get the correct answer, it won't get it will lock at a particular point in time. So, 
No, you need a lecture. This is only for your revision, right? Like tutorial, like tutorial for flip classroom. Yeah. So the idea is you give them this particular tutorial before they come to class. When they come to class, you have more of a group discussion, group discussion or a problem-based learning session in class. So this will give them the basis for your, or you do your actual surgery or take them for observation. Okay. So in order to do this, you have to just, you can go down. We have to actually add your video here. So if it's a lecture note, if it's a lecture based video, if you are doing screen, how many of you are doing screen casting? Screen cast recording, only one, two. If you are doing Dr. Jason, two. So only two of you do screen casting. You all are not aware of the screen casting, recording your lecture of your screen. No, you are not aware of recording your lecture. So I will show it to you if you have time. What is the time now? 42. 42. Okay, you all want a break or you want me to continue? I can continue, no problem, but you need a break. Oh, the icon. I can't touch the icon. Too cold, too cold. Okay, I'll give you a five minute break and then we focus on interactive video. Okay? So I'll just wait here. If I come down, okay, I should not come up again. This is the
So we have about one hour more. So we'll start with the interactive video. But don't worry about the uh, content development. Okay, so Dr. Chin, you will give me two days with him for all the content development. Well, actually, we are supposed to spend one day, right? The full day. Oh, okay. So next time, if possible, right? Because everyone is doing something all the time. You give me two days, I will come and stay here. And if any time you want, you can come in and we will do the content development. So, yeah, so that's why I sit here and anyone who wants to develop their content for two days, we will help them to arrange their content and convert to HIP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we are looking for next time is basically any kind of videos which you have recorded on your own. Or oh, you can ask, you, we can ask the, you all have a recording team, right? Video recording team? No one here. Nobody here. Oh, not fingers as yet. Okay. Well, that's how we started. <laughs> okay, so, so we'll focus first on the interactive video. So, Zul will begin from the beginning. So, we have our video. For example, this is the video, British Heart Foundation video. We share and we copy this link. We then go to H5P okay? and you actually have, so we start from the beginning I think, because we took the link. You go to my account, and then you try out H5P. And you look for interactive video. So we have interactive video. Yeah. Click here on interactive video click. Okay, so if you are familiar with this, you will see three different uh, three different uh, tab. The first one is the video itself. The second one is the iteration, which is basically testing the students, it's assessing the student during the video. And the summary task is assessing the student after the video is completed. So it's basically like how we have the formative and summative assessment. So, this one is actually the formative, this one is actually the summative assessment for the student. So, it assesses each level because this uh, H5P is designed by educator, they have incorporated all the pedagogical element inside. So, they will assess each one. Now, you asked me the question regarding the integration of marks. This system can be integrated into smart to ums So, if the student achieves the marks here, it will add up into the smart to ums system. Into the smart to ums system. So we are waiting for JTMK to give us the plugin install. That's all. Then you will assess and it will interact with your system directly. So this one also has quizzes and other functions which I cannot cover today. So let's focus on the video. So the first thing which you do is embed the video. So you click here and you have your video file. But how do you Okay, you zoom go back. Okay, so this is basically you my account, try out H5P, then you go to interactive video, I interactive video, okay. yeah. just click here, anything you want to find is here. Now you must remember something right, you always search here because H5P is being developed continuously, it's a developer community, so you will see many other things coming up here as it's being developed. It's open source software, so being developed. So you click here and then you click here. Yeah. So now you will see three, three tabs here. The video, the interaction and the summary task. So you add first your video here. Click. 
embed a video it will be insert so wait for it to actually insert the video inside okay so the video is being uploaded here so if you need to add edit copyright you can add this over here but at this stage we won't do that today we will do it at a later stage because this needs addition of a lot of text okay the next thing which we need to do is add iterations interactions okay okay now your interaction is here this is the video which your student will see these are the, all the different choices which you are giving the students okay. i'll go i cannot go through them one by one because it will take a long time to cover but i'll focus on the key one which is the quiz so how to stop the video and make the student answer a quiz okay now zul you click on the video video so basically you before you do the interaction you need the whole video okay. need to watch this the video will show you what to so expect if you have a replacement surgery so on, so on. it includes images of the surgery uh, in progress so and shows a live beating rolling, rolling. you can see the numbers the time stamp. my name's nick i'm 41 years of age i'm from macclesfield in cheshire and I'm here to Pause. have the heart valve replacement. Pause the video. Pause? No. Okay. Pause it, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now you scroll up. Okay. Now you can add your interaction with that. So you have different kind of interaction. So the first one is basically the text interaction. So suppose you are, suppose this in, when you want to add text, you are not asking the student something, you can add text describing what is in the video. For example, they are doing some procedure which is very complex and you want to explain from your perspective as a lecturer. You can click the text button here, click text and you can add the text, okay? Last you what text to add. So, you can add text here, so explanation of the procedure, explanation of pre-operative, pre-operative, pre-pre-pre-pre-pre, pre-operative, Procedure. You just start. For example, you just have this this, uh, this part of the video describes the procedure prior to surgery. Just add, okay. and then you add. Describes the procedure prior to surgery. <laughs> prior to surgery. Okay. Okay, just say done. Enough clicking done. Okay, done. Okay, so the video is actually carrying a text, and when you see it, you will see it coming out in the video. So it will add when the video stops here, it will show that. Okay, you can also adjust the time. If you want it for Punjab, long time, sorry, long time, you can adjust the time. How long that thing will be there. So, for example, if you have the video right, and this is the surgical section, and you want different part, you can actually describe. You can move it around as well. But this you can move it around. Okay, so it's okay. So you can move it around. You can play. so you can basically describe. So if you have a procedure, you can actually do a hotspot on the video itself. Okay. Okay. So next one. Okay. Let's go down. Play the video again. Play. Thanks, Miss. How are you? Hi. I am Mr. Rajamayar, consultant cardiac surgeon. I work in Within Shah Hospital in Manchester. The major problem is. Okay, so to a severe heart failure. Okay. Okay. Now we want to add another interaction. Okay. So you can add this one. See, click, click here. I show you. I just move. You can add an image. You can add a quiz statement. You can add single choice set, multiple choice set, true or false. Okay? You click true or false. Click true or false. Okay. So now it will you can stop the video and then it will ask them a question which is true or false. Okay, so you can ask a question. So untitled true or false question. Uh, which is the correct procedure? A or B, just put. Which is the correct procedure? A or B.
Okay, we, so you have true or false, right? Okay, go down. Okay, and then you have uh, behavioral settings. Okay, behavior change. And if you, here you can give student different choice. They can retry the video. They can click solution. Usually we don't click solution, but true false because true false is only two choice. They will find the solution. So we click this. Okay. Don't click automatically check answer. And then if you got a correct answer, you say. Uh, Congratulations or something like that. So, it give interaction for the video. Okay. So, feedback on the wrong answer maybe go down, try again, try again, oh, so on and so forth. Okay. And then you have adaptivity, click here, sir. Adaptivity. Okay. So, action on all correct. Okay. So, this one uh, is when it is all correct, you can actually allow them to proceed to the next step. Others will do all. So, the action on all wrong, action on all wrong, click here, then you will see it tells you to go back to another section of the video and watch the whole thing all over again. So you can adjust the video based on your question set. Okay, so go down and then you require full scope for task for proceeding, click here. So this, when you click on this button, it will lock the video until they achieve the full scope. Okay, so done. Okay, so you save it first. Save. Okay. Use this. Just put a video of ABC or something. Okay. Just save again. Okay. It will ask you to save it every time you add new content. Okay, so play the video, sir. Yeah, click. So once a student clicks the video, they will play it. It will reach a certain point. This film will show you what to expect if you are having valve replacement surgery. It includes images of the surgery in progress and shows a live beating heart. My name's Nick. I'm 40. Okay, so when it reaches this point, can you see a point there? 21 years of age, I'm from Macclesfield in Cheshire, and I'm here to have a heart valve replacement. So when you reach that point, you can see that. I am Mr. Raja Mayer, Pinkatesh Raja. Consultant, Pink Labor, 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 consultant Labor, Labor. cardiac surgeon. I work in Within Shah Hospital in Manchester. So this uh, system has not only really been designed for valve normal viewers, it's also designed for people who have a condition It has a condition called the aortic stenosis, which is a severe narrowing of the outflow valve. This condition, if not treated, may lead to a severe when it reaches there, see what happens, it will be a pop-up. Your damaged valve will be removed and a new one put in its place. It, it will either be mechanical, made from... So, you get a true-false, okay? Now the video will be locked there until you get the correct answer. So, you click one answer, true, check. So, you scored, okay? If you went back and you click false, it will ask you to redo the whole video again. Click, then it continue the video. So you can metal and plastic you need to or have tissue a good video from a human or animal. Recorded, then you can add uh, this interaction at each and every step. The new valve the will improve the blood flow through your. So heart. HIP is a very useful tool. If you all have I'm any specific nervous video, about the operation, uh, obviously it is quite serious. Discuss with care. Sure how to carry on now and get yeah. it done. Specific video. That's how we do it. Okay. Today so we are going to just.